My first big purchase on Live 19 is Scotty Pippen. Rated 88 overall, 90 speed, 88 defense. Whew, 91 finishing. What more can you want? So the reason I purchased this Scotty Pippen is because if you look at all the other small forwards, the prices are almost double and they're way more expensive. And I feel like this card gives you way more value for your coins. And I was comparing it to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi has similar stats, but as you can see, he's at 80,000. So this card is 20,000 cheaper and I'm getting a little bit better stats or you could say similar. And one of the reasons I wanted to buy Scotty or a wing defender is because most people that I've played, they always attack with their wing players. For example, Vince Carter, LeBron James, or other players. So I wanted to get a defender that can play good defense because right now I didn't really have a great defender on my team. And then I continued to shop around. The next card that I purchased was this Jimmy Butler card. I purchased him for additional defense so I could lock down a shooting guard and small forward with Pippen. So that should be a good wing combo on the perimeter. That should be nice. And then the next card that I'm looking for, you know, is more wing defenders that can shoot because Jimmy is not that much of a shooter. So I went for John Havlicek and I was looking at the other cards available and for the price, I think it was a good deal because all these other cards are at least 20,000 or 15,000 and this card has 85 defense, 84 3, 85 speed, a little bit of everything for only 6,500. So this is the next card I'm going to purchase. So you got Scottie Pippen, Jimmy Butler and John Havlicek. And the following card that I'm going to purchase is I needed a shooter. So I went on the market and I found Glenn Rice. And from previous years, if you've played NBA Live, you know Glenn Rice is a cheesy three-point shooter. So for the deal, 16000 pretty good steal because usually I expected him to be much more expensive for that 93-point shot. The next thing I wanted was a big man. You know, I wanted a good bench big to replace Matumbo. And I was looking around at all these legends, very tough to decide. I was looking at this Shaquille O'Neal card. It's crazy, I want to buy it just because of the name, but then when you look at the stats, it's not so good. So it's it's tough to, to make a decision based off that. So I want to look at the 87, 89 ones to see if there's any better deals for the price point. There's Will Chamberlain here for 41K. Then there's Yao Ming, 7-6. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it so much. And look at this Jacob. I'm not even going to bother saying the last name. I always fail. 89 overall Jacob. <laughs> I don't know what they did to make him that high, but he's rated the same as Ben Wallace, Hart, and Patrick Ewing. The same as Andre Drummond. <laughs> That's crazy. He's even rated higher than this Wilt. He was rated higher than that David Robinson that I looked at earlier. I know Jacob, it's a playoff round one card, but still, he didn't really do much to deserve that 89. He's rated higher than Yao Ming even. <laughs> higher than all these legends. Look at that, he's at 89. That's crazy. NBA Live has some crazy ratings. Even Nene is rated 88. Oh my goodness. I went on to check the next David Robinson at 92 overall. I wanted to see what stats got upgraded compared to the 85 overall card and all the other centers at a lower tier. And as you can see, he has 85, I'm sorry, he has 87 rebounding and 92 defense. He has good speed and he has 90 post-up ability. But my center, I wanted mainly the defense and the rebounding. He has 87 and 92. And I found out with this card right here, Rudy Gobert, he has 92 defense, 86 rebounding, pretty similar to that David Robinson card for only a fraction of the price. I got him for 17k, which was a huge difference in coins, so better value for myself. The last thing I wanted to do is to see if I could get any shooting guards at a good deal. I currently have T-Mac, but I don't really use him that much. His dribbling is not that high. I got Wade here with 91 dribble, but his 3 is pretty not good. <laughs> Um, it's crazy. They listed Paul Pierce at shooting guard and Dragic at shooting guard. Those are the wrong positions. I don't know what they did there. 
So the next thing I did was I decided to sell some cards that I didn't use as Jason Tatum. And I also eventually put T-Mac on the block. And these are the cards I purchased along with Scottie Pippen and Jimmy Butler. So I purchased five cards. I think I made good decisions. But I might be wrong because I'm still new to this game. I haven't played this game in months. So I don't know the best cards available and if I overpaid or not. But I looked in the auction block for some time and made my decision based on that. So I'm not sure if I made good deals or not, but just based on what I was comparing with the other cards, I feel like I made good decisions. But like I said, I don't really know the marketplace that much. It's only my second day back on live. So right now all I'm doing is I'm adjusting my lineup based off the cards I just purchased. And let me know in the comments section, do you like this video of me being in the auction house explaining what I'm buying and why I'm buying it and you know, me doing some selling, some replacing. Do you guys like these auction house videos of myself, you know, explaining my decisions? Do you guys want to see more of this or you guys just want to see gameplays? So let me know in the comments if you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'll do more of these if I can. And the next thing I did is I put Scotty on the bench because a lot of people quit the lobby if they see him in my starting lineup, you know, they get afraid. So I put Hayward there, he's less intimidating than Scotty Pippen. And I'm going to be replacing Team Out with Jimmy Butler here. And I'm also editing my next gameplay video right now. So if you want to see it tonight, drop a like. If I could get 5 likes, I'm going to drop it tonight for sure. So drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.